Hey, we're on the Corona Kitchen. I have no idea where we're broadcasting, but hopefully we're somewhere. Facebook. I mean, I, I know we're on YouTube. I just don't know where else. YouTube is safe. Facebook hates us. P.S. Oh, Facebook hates everybody. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Oh, what a cutie. <laughs> What a cutie. You get the cat today, everybody. She's my kitty cat. <laughs> oh, hi. How are you? Hi. I'm, I'm just, it's windy here. I don't know about anybody else in the country or wherever you live. It's a horrible warm wind with the pollen and it's just not fun. But other than that, things are good. Do you have allergies? <laughs> I don't. I do. My nose is running. It's just, uh, ugh. Eh. No, sorry oh. about that. But you I know, know. I, I so far, knock on wood, I have not I've not had them ever since I've just not had them. But people have said if once you live here for five years, you will you if you're gonna get them, you're gonna get them. And I never have, so I feel very lucky. I had I them know. way worse. I had them way worse last year than this year for sure. Hi Kel. Hi Kelly. <laughs> super fans Woo! Yeah, super I, don't, fans. I have no idea if we're on facebook or not yeah, I see oh yay david sees it on facebook it's working Woo! we have no idea why um but you know because uh, uh, i'm just gonna say this because i'm a tech goddess <laughs> and and that's hilarious because that's not true <laughs> oh my god Aye, aye, well, aye. first up, first up, before you start, we should tell everybody about what's happening a Friday morning, Friday morning or Friday. Yeah, it's Friday, Friday. Oh my God. Friday. Yes. We're going to be on. Is it Fox five? <laughs> no, it's ABC. It's oh, it ABC. is. I can't remember <laughs> in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> the Viva Las Vegas, not Las Vegas, Las Vegas, Las Vegas, not the New Mexico, Las Vegas. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we're going to Vegas, baby. Road trip. <laughs> um, I know. JD, JD's with coming with us. Our, yeah, baby. Our trusted, trusted sidekick, JD, will be there with us. So, thank God. So. Lisa's in a mini box. I know. I know she is, Peggy. I can't get her out of the mini box. I don't know how. <laughs> There's some new um, way this is set up. Let me see. Does this work better? Well, see, but then there's this space over here. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna go with this. Sorry, just apologies all around. We don't, we don't, we don't, I don't have know. a stage manager. <laughs> that is a tech. That, nobody person. does. Nobody does anymore. Oh, so, yeah. So we don't even have robots. We don't. No, have we don't have robots. We don't. We don't have. We don't. We have David. <laughs> <laughs> we have David. We have my husband, who is the cameraman, sound guy. Here he is, drink the drinker, <laughs> the cocktail taster. You the mean? Okay, thank you. The cocktail taster. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we are going to make. Um, <laughs> thank you, Kelly. Um, we are we are going to make uh, three things on that show. Right? We're doing um, shuck, uh, Mother's Day brunch. So shakshuka. Yeah. Yes. From the cookbook, um, scones. scones, yep, and a cocktail. <laughs> yes. yes, it'll be the lemon blackberry scones with the honey drizzle. Um, and they we did them, you know, for uh, uh, Portland, Oregon last week, and they were so good. Yeah, they're, they're foolproof, very... people. They're foolproof. Yeah, they're foolproof. We had we had a great time. We've been doing a lot of television and podcast we're going to be doing another radio program um on the 22nd of may too so yeah we've got we got stuff Woo! <laughs> we just keep getting out there hey and if anybody wants us on their local news call up your local news why don't you yeah and say hey we'd like to get these gals on because yeah, you know we stuff can like that it. <laughs> it happened you know uh, but anyway yeah. So Thanks for being tonight here. I decided that I was going to make poached chicken because I've done it. I do it at home a lot and I, I can't believe I've never done it on the show. 
Okay, to which I say, said earlier today, poached chicken, is that a thing? Because <laughs> yes, I've never yes, done that. Is. I poached fish and eggs. Oh, no, poached chicken. chicken breast. Okay. It's poached chicken breast is really good. Yes, David does get paid, paid with alcohol. <laughs> Among other things. Anyway. <laughs> Yes, so I am making poached chicken breast, but I decided I was going to serve it on polenta. And Yum. and then I thought, well, I have this pesto left from my garden last year, so I'm going to put that in the polenta. And I don't know what I got hunting around on the internet for, but I saw um, that Milk Street swears by this method of polenta. Now, I always stir, 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 you know, good arm work out making polenta and I make it a lot, but this is no stir and it's in the oven. What? Okay. So in our cookbook, we have a pesto on polenta mm -hmm. and it's a stir, stir, stir. And so stir, let's stir, just stir. see, we're going to do a little test kitchening here. <laughs> if this no stir, I don't know how you're going to do that, but I, I'm willing to have, take a leap of faith. I'm going to show you. And I'm going to also use this gadget that kelly sent me <laughs> which is what is that this is a meat tenderizer you take this oh. off and there's a million really sharp blades right here however there's these things so you can't it, it does protect your fingers and then you unlock it um this way and then you put it on the meat and press and all okay, the blades. Okay, that sounds going. like that sounds like chicken acupuncture to me. <laughs> yeah, it is. Kind of is. It's it's a little scary because watch, watch, I'll show you. <laughs> I'm scared. Let me see. I've never seen it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Careful, medieval. Careful. I know a little medieval. Careful. So I'm supposed wow. to tenderize your meat. So I'm going to do that to the chicken breast first. Okay. All right. So I use the old mallet and ziploc bag <laughs> yep i i that was my usual method until <laughs> kelly gave me the torture chamber the torture chamber <laughs> all right Poor so chicken. you want to fly over and i'll show you there how comes. it's done here's the thing let's see the thing oh my god oh my it god goes, it goes i mean these are super sharp and it goes wow. through, through the chicken so now it'll it's supposed to be tenderizing but it also will allow any kind of flavoring or spices like if i rubbed these with something you know it wow. would go through serious that's amazing and it was so fast too serious no this these blades are sharp <laughs> tower okay. of london okay oh you did you used it on a pot roast that that seems scary <laughs> okay so that well, was uh, yes I think it might, so I'm not going to do that, Peggy. <laughs> okay, so here's the trick with poaching chicken. Okay. And this method is really for boneless, skinless. Okay. Because when you have bones and skin, you want to sear that and or you yeah. know put it on the grill. Yeah. But these get the, crispy. get the crispy. Yeah. Typically, chicken breast, boneless, skinless, is not um. Uh, juicy, right? This makes it juicy. I'm telling you. All right. Oh, so. Okay. I'm just going to play the devil's advocate for a second. Okay. When I hear the word poached with chicken, it makes me nervous because everyone has chicken fear that it's not going to get cooked all the way. Well, honey, what do you think a thermometer's for? <laughs> I knew you were going to tell me. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to put, you know, about 10 peppercorns in there okay and i'm going to put in a bay leaf which is over here and the th the trick is you want the chicken to be cold and the liquid to be cold and i'm going to smash a couple of um cloves of garlic so everything starts cold yep cold cold it, because it it makes the chicken um cook evenly because everything's the same temperature so it all comes to the temperature at the same time this is a lot of chemistry today 
We're having a chemistry class. We are. <laughs> All right. So a couple cloves of garlic. Now, I already made, you can do this with water. You can poach chicken in a lot of things. You can poach it in milk, buttermilk, oil. Um, I'm going to do chicken stock and white wine. You can just do water. And that and that's fine too. If you just do water, you want to add. Okay, so this is going to be four cups of cold liquid. So I already made chicken stock, and you want it. You want the chicken breast to be covered, so you can almost see it. And then that I know I have three cups there, and I'm going to add a cup of white wine, and that will cover the chicken breasts with liquid. Wow. Okay which will also be delicious liquid. <laughs> I mean, I got to be honest with you. This is opening up a whole new world for me as chicken. Okay. Well, no, because I'm just saying. <laughs> but you, you know. if you just use water, you're going to want to use like three teaspoons of salt. Like you really like, or actually it's, um, I, I use kosher salt. You probably want three tablespoons of regular salt. You know, okay. they really want it to be salty because these okay. chicken breasts don't have any flavor, really. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So you're forcing that flavor in. Right. So I'm okay. going to add a little bit of salt to mine just to make wow. sure. And all right. So now what we're going to do is bring this to a boil. So now it's all going to come to temperature at the same time, the, the cold water and the chicken. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. What is this? Uh, is that you, Kelly? Yes. I will send it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And now I have, here's my pesto. That's going to be for the polenta, but I'm not going to stir that in until the end. So if now you that's have the pesto that you already made that you mm -hmm. had frozen from your garden. Yeah. So okay. if you don't, I mean, you don't have to, you can add at the end a cup of cheat, just regular, you know, cheddar cheese or Parmesan cheese or, or leave it alone, whatever you want to do. Okay. So polenta, you want to get medium to coarse ground cornmeal. You kind of don't really want it fine because it could become kind of gummy that way. So the, and you get a better flavor of the corn flavor when it's, um, when it's got a little texture to it and not white either. You want Do yellow. Do you have a particular brand that you buy of polenta? I, I usually use Bob's Red Mill. Yes. I was going to say that's what I get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, but you don't want to use white either because white has kind of has no flavor. <laughs> Well, I'm not the go there. You said it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what I have here in this pot, okay, to, I set the oven on 350. And you okay. want to do this in a, in a, like a, a pot that you can put in the oven, whatever okay. that is, a cast, okay. you know, like a Dutch oven of some kind. But I'm going to use my copper pot because I know that can go in the oven. And a tight fitting lid to go on it. So okay. in, it, in this pan, um, I have five cups of chicken stock okay. that I'm going to bring to a boil. It's pretty hot right now. And to that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter because, as we know, fat carries the flavor and everything's better with butter. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah. So it's starting to boil. And I want to, to five cups, I'm going to add a cup of, of, um, polenta. Okay. Okay. All right. So one cup of polenta. How much is that going to make? Uh, about, I think it should serve three, four, depending on how much you eat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the thing is you want to use a whisk because the whisk, when you stir in the polenta, it um it gets the starch going all the way through the liquid and then it supposedly according to um milk street it that's the starch gets the starch going that kind of keeps it from sticking so i'm just grabbing my 
So no stir. All right, so now it's got the butter in here and I'm gonna add this in a slow stream. So I, you know, it doesn't clump. And I'm gonna use this pot, it's gonna go right in the oven. Now, supposedly, the, the key is that you want to have a, a low, even heat. And the oven is the best place to do that. You could do it on the stove if you trust your stove. You know, um, to do, you could probably do it on the top of the stove would be my guess. Okay. But I think the oven, um, you know, has the heat that kind of goes all around and it's yeah. more even. All right. So I'm going to cover it tightly with the lid and put it in my 350 degree oven. And I'm gonna leave it in there for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes, something like that. I'll check it and see. Wow. So, and it goes kind of on the, uh, the low middle part of the oven. It's kind of like cooking rice or something, is it? Bye bye. <laughs> I don't know. Hope it works. I hope oh, it works. You. <laughs> You're going to find out. Yep, I am. All right. So now the thing with the chicken is you want to bring it to a boil. And when the boil is like over the top of the chicken, um, it's not quite there yet. You're going to flip the chicken over, um, the breast over, because okay. there's probably more heat on the bottom. Okay. Um, you flip it over and then cover it with a lid and take it off the heat and oh. let it cook in the liquid, which it will do. It's going to poach um, for five or 10 minutes till it gets to 150 degrees. Okay. And that's when you take it out and let it rest on your cutting board. So that's wow. what that's going to do. Now, I, for me, I would um, reduce this a little and add a slurry and make some gravy. Um, but I want to let the chicken do that. In the meantime, and so you can see it when it happens. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to make the rest of the dinner. And I'm going to stir this up about a quarter of a cup, quarter to a third of a cup of polenta into the, um, I mean, uh, pesto into the polenta after it's done. Okay. I hope it works. Yeah. If it's done, if it works. <laughs> um, Milk Street said you're supposed to leave it uncovered in the oven and it takes an hour. Then I read some other recipes that said covered and it took 30 minutes, which made more sense to me because you're keeping the steam in. And I wow, thought it would be creamier with the steam held in. I mean, it makes sense to me what you're saying, but it sounds like conflicting chemistry. <laughs> oh, is there a link? Watch your, your, our ABC Portland interview. Yes, there is. I, did we posted it on our? We did. We did. It's on the um, Golden Goose Kitchen Facebook group. Um, it, it's but I'll, right I'll there. post it this week on our yeah. website too. Yeah. Okay, we'll put it on the website. But if you scroll down on the group page for Chronic uh, Golden Goose Kitchen, it's there. Yeah, it's there. It's crazy. <laughs> Time will tell. You are exactly right, Kelly. I mean, oh, it's Peggy. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, did I get your name wrong? Oh, oh, imagine that. Weird. Imagine that. <laughs> How weird. <laughs> I wonder how that kind of thing happens. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't make me. All right. So the other thing I was <laughs> thinking that would be really good is if you if you had if you don't have um, pesto, you could add truffle oil or truffle. Ooh, oil. Yeah. Or lemon would be really good too. You could do like a mushroom, you know. Well, I'm I'm doing well, mushroom. I'm mushrooms. With it. <laughs> yeah, you're laughing, aren't you? Aren't you, silly girl? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my dinner. I have a bunch of mushrooms, some mm. thinly sliced fennel, and some shallots, and I'm gonna saute those in some beef. And I'm, I'm going to go over to your house for dinner. 
<laughs> you can come to my house for dinner. Oh, let me tell you about the about the chicken. Um, if you want to make more chicken breasts, I think it's you add two cups of water to um, to every chicken breast. Why isn't that one covered? Should be okay. Yeah. So so water. that's the ratio of two cups water. of water. Okay. Yeah water to chicken these are really fat chicken breasts and i just I, i'll put in a little plug for butcher box that's where i get my chicken delicious okay so while this is going this is starting to smell really good yay <laughs> yeah like chicken and white wine i i really um have liked chicken poached in all kinds of things um, this making me think of it. So many things to do with that. I, I had no idea, honestly. Yeah. Look at my giant ghee. Can I just say how much I love Costco? <laughs> ghee. ghee. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> ghee, that's going to be amazing. Ghee. Your hair smells oh, terrific. You can see this. Come over here, cameraman. <laughs> you can see the bubbles are starting around the edge. When that bubbles wow. go across the surface, like it's really bubbling, then I will take it off the heat and it's almost. Wow. Okay. So that's my story. Now I'm going to, I'm going to saute the mushrooms and the shallots and the fennel. So when I, when it comes out of the oven, I'm going to do the polenta with the vegetables on top and then thinly slice the chicken across the top. Yum. I'm just so excited to see the juicy chicken. Um, yeah, it really the, works. I, I don't know how I got into poaching chicken, but I have, I've been doing it for a long time. I can't You're into it. it. You're into it. It's weird. Okay. So it's starting to, the bubbles are starting to come across. Let me get a, you can show them. I'm going to get my tongs. Okay. There are the bubbles. Wow. Well, you know what that reminds me of? What? Like when you make canals and you poach them, you know? Oh, yeah. Same kind of bubbly. We haven't done know. that either. Can you believe we have like 400 shows and there's still stuff we haven't made? There's so many. There's a, probably a lifetime worth of food we haven't made. I know. What is David drinking? Oh. Knob Creek. You, yeah, Knob Creek. Knob Creek. Butcher Box rocks. It does. We love Butcher Box. <laughs> All right, yeah, here it goes. It looks very nice. It looks really nice. So now this is bubbling across the top or uh, the whole surface. So I'm going to take the chicken and flip it over. Wow. There. And then I'm going to turn off the heat, cover it tightly with the lid, and take it off the heat and let it sit. That, those are probably going to take 10 minutes because they're really thick. It It just makes so much sense because it's like, I don't know, ever since we started this project, I can't even begin to tell you, like just the concept of not using water with anything, using flavored, you know, yeah. liquid, yeah, yeah. makes so much sense to infuse anything when you're boiling it or cooking it or poaching it or whatever. And I, before we started this, I just wasn't doing that. And now I am. Oh, good. Now I have often made polenta, I might say, with with milk. Um I've done uh, that. Instead of you can use buttermilk or milk to um as the liquid part of right, the right. too. So right. I and my favorite way is at Christmas time or or you know, New Year's Day, I use I, I mix chopped green chili into it and cheese. Because there really is nothing better than green chili cheese, and cheese. polenta. That's it's, pretty good. That's true. So that's my story. I'm gonna let the chicken go. And that's I'm gonna so beautiful. Go. That would be so beautiful for like a dinner party and not hard to do. No. You want to do pain and it would be so tasty. And here's the other thing. It with the with the chicken, you have to take it out and let it rest um before you cut it, you know, for probably a good five minutes. You can keep it in the refrigerator and use it for chicken salad, you know, on top of a salad or, yeah. you know, yeah. that, put it in soup later. So there's, yeah. you know, you can make it ahead of time if you want to do, you know, if you're doing a luncheon or a breakfast or a brunch, something like that. 
That's just delicious. I, I keep wondering about that incredible tenderizer that you have. I know. Kelly, where did you get it? Did you get it on QVC? What's the brand of it? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's red. <laughs> I don't know. Kelly, where'd you get it? I think she got it on QVC. I'm pretty sure. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. D E N I. <laughs> Here. Okay. D E N I. Denny. Yeah, Denny. Okay. So, I don't know. I guess you could look. It, it is cool. I've used it on steak. I I haven't tried. Well, actually, I have to. I don't know why I was shocked. I did use it yesterday on my pork on a pork shoulder. Wow. It was a I want to get one. I bet they have one at Las Cosas. I'm going to go well, see. They might. Yeah. yeah, I'll post a picture of it. You can take it over there okay. um, and see if they have one. I don't know. I, but it's a very cool device. It's super I mean, cool. It, it work, it's, I don't know. Maybe it depends on your mood. Like if you're really mad, you can pound. <laughs> and if you just want to hurt somebody, you can just do it with the it's like voodoo needles you know yeah <laughs> if you use a different consistency liquid in the polenta wouldn't that change the time in the oven it it might that's why i was saying i would check it after 30 minutes and see where you're at but i think if it's once it's boiling it's it's boiling i don't know do i look I mean, like it kind of makes sense. i just wonder when will you tell us like what happened when you took it out if you yeah. had to like, did it was it thick and you had to mix it to make it you know okay smooth? yeah I, well i think you probably really need to take a whisk to it when it comes yeah. out and then you know make sure that nothing's you know everything is all blended together and then i'll do the i'll put the polenta in i mean the um pesto in with it well just let us know all right i will <laughs> All right. Well, that's, uh, let me see. How much time do I have on the chicken? Six minutes. And then I'm just going to stick the temperature gauge in there and see, and see what happens. With chemistry. Yes. Better living through chemistry. It's true. <laughs> and I have no idea how many mushrooms are in here, but I did a lot. I got the giant <laughs> thing from um, Costco and the mushrooms at Costco are the size of your head. <laughs> That's a big mushroom. It, it, um, it's a big mushroom. That's going to be so good. I mean, I would do one. I would do one with just not the pesto kind, but do it with like sauteed mushrooms and truffle oil, like you were saying, and parmesan. Yeah. Mm, be garlic. Yes. Garlic QVC. Wine. Thank you, Kel. It was QVC. Here it is. All right. Kelly found it. It's sixteen forty nine on sale. <laughs> Hey, thanks, I'm pal. In. Maybe that'll help us get 49 on for 49 blades. <laughs> you know, giving a QVC plug um, might help us. But, you know, now that I think about it, you know, this weekend is Mother's Day. Oh, if you hey. have hey. a mother figure in your life and you want to give them a really great gift. We happen they, don't to have, look, they can read. We happen to have something. <laughs> a, a lovely little thing called that time we ate our feelings. <laughs> oh yeah. Order here. Order here. Pew. Order here. Oh Pew and here's my um my plug to please please write a review on, on Amazon. Apparently you can do it even if you haven't purchased it on Amazon. That's what you can also heard. do it on Goodreads. That's so what we've heard. If you bought your book elsewhere, try doing it on Goodreads, but we would really appreciate it. <laughs> well, we've got a, a great, we have like, I think it's 4.9 stars. I'm like, okay, who gave us a less than 10%? Who did that? Who did that? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> it's not a five. It's a 4.9. Oh, and please like us on YouTube. That would be really helpful. <laughs> yes, and we're on, you know, those people who are on the TikTok. Uh, we're also on, of course, Instagram at the Corona Kitch. Uh, we, we're even on LinkedIn. Yeah, uh, I always post on LinkedIn. You know, 
But uh, yeah, anytime you can engage or share a review or anything, we really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, what do we have? So Four minutes. We're gonna, we're gonna see you in Vegas. Time. If you're in the Vegas area, we will post the interview um, afterwards. But if you're there or the link, we'll send the link that you can or watch. If you it know of a bookstore we can go to, just let them know. I know we really should go to a bookstore there. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Kelly is saying, buy the freaking book. <laughs> That's her review. Thank you. All right. Thanks. So I have this um this thermometer that allows you to set the um where where you want the needle to go on the temperature. Oh wow. Isn't that That's cool? cool? That's really well, I'm cool. Check my chicken right now. Oh my goodness. And let's see what the temperature is. <laughs> what temperature does it have to be? 150. 150, okay. Which might mean it's a little pink inside when you cut it, but that's really okay. As long as it's 150, you're good. Okay. No, it's not there yet. That, well, that one's not, and I'm gonna check. The other one's, one of them's really thick. And the other one's at 135, so I'm gonna wait. Okay, you got a ways to go. Got a ways. Yeah. All right. Well, that's my story. We're doing mushrooms and chicken and fennel and polenta. Yum. I can only imagine that it smells really good in your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Oh, thank you. You are probably correct. Did you see this? Probably Mark Steven Scott gave the lesson five. <laughs> what? Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who you're referring to. <laughs> yeah, we don't either. Yeah, Kelly, too bad you can't go. Yeah, Vegas. I Hi. know. I mean, Debriana and I aren't gamblers, although it would seem like it since we did this project. <laughs> but <laughs> but we're not gambling. <laughs> my dad, I used to work in Vegas a lot when I was modeling, and, and um, my dad would always say, did you play the slots, honey? I'm did you gamble? I'm like, no, dad, my whole life is a gamble. Why would I put it in a slot machine too? Such a wasted beauty. I'm a wasted beauty. All right, look, <laughs> don't waste your beauty. Join a, a Democrat group and let's get the vote out, people. Please, please, God. Okay. Did you see that thing I sent you today from the Italian? Oh, um, yeah, I've been sending it around. So I've there's this... It's such a great thing. Um, I could post it if you want. Um, it's this woman in like the I Italian. Do program. it with style. <laughs> and she's just like, no, 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 about women's bodies and our control of our own selves and lives. And it was so beautiful. It was really yeah, inspiring. It really, it was great. Like, we deserve to have control over ourselves. And she said, time, shame on you to like yeah. the prime minister. Seriously, I know. The last time I checked, um, we don't go to ask our congressperson uh, if we need to go to the doctor. Oh, like maybe we should maybe we should start doing that, calling our Congress people and saying, you know, I, I am I due for my colonoscopy? Um, gee, I wonder. Um, I I have um a hammer toe. Should I go see a doctor? Can you look at my foot for me? Because they are not doctors. But they think they are. <laughs> yep. 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 So yeah, we're not we're not going down there. No. No. <laughs> so that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. What did you say on on wasted duty? Get involved. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> there. Here, I'm scrolling across the bottom. How you can get involved. <laughs> Just do something, anything you can, honestly. Anything. anything I, had to, I had to watch my stepdad have a, a meltdown yesterday of just, you know, because he read the list of um, what Trump would do if he were elected. And we were all just like, I mean, it was just very, very disturbing. And it's real. And we have to vote. And we have we cannot let this happen. No, we cannot. We cannot. 
<laughs> so yeah, so I'm making the chicken. <laughs> so when my chicken's 150, I'll take it out and let it rest on my board and I'll take pictures. Great. <laughs> I bet it's going to be good. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> So here we go. Oh, look, I made you big. How did I do that? I can't see anything that you're doing, so I don't know. I don't know. That was a complete accident. It took me the whole show. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. <laughs> I will put pictures of the beautiful polenta. Yeah, yeah, I love polenta. So good. Yeah, that, it'll be good. Oh, look what I did. Just in time for the end of the show. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I will see you next week. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay.